Editage wanted to explore what academic publishers think of video as a content format for science communication. So we commissioned a leading consultancy to undertake a series of interviews with publishers and societies, a target group of varying sizes, subject portfolios, and business models. Soon, some very common themes emerged. The responses hinted at how a swathe of publishers see video as a future-facing medium for science communication and consumption. At the same time, common perceived barriers to video access surfaced, namely, producing quality video content is expensive and difficult. Video means a new workflow. We can't see the business case for video. But how real are the perceived barriers to video access? We understand that video is largely unexplored as a medium for science communication in the academic publishing industry. So we thought it fit to share some of the early success stories that help answer this question. Cell Press, a leading publisher of biomedical journals, wanted to offer a proprietary video product talking figures that would walk readers through the key points and take-home message, just like at a conference. The publisher envisioned a service to support authors globally for which it wanted Editage to produce a bulk order of custom videos, available for ordering over several months to more than 10 cell press titles. This presented a challenge of producing a high-quality product that absorbed typical cost drivers of volume, complexity, and time. A challenge that Editage helped Cell Press meet by bringing economies of scale through a dedicated team of content and design experts assigned to the project. So, videos are expensive? Difficult to make? With Editage, videos are more affordable than you think. The Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery, a reputed musculoskeletal title, was considering supplementary formats for content consumption to beat the time crunch of clinical practice. Edited video summaries made them see how engaging the output was and how convenient it was to share among the wider audience. Yet their question was, can you produce quality video content that can be published bi-weekly? Oh, and every video will have to pass through a rigorous multi-step approval by the author and JBJS editors. After a short pilot to establish proof of concept, Editage worked with JBJS to compile a full year's schedule for videos and infographics for what the editorial office perceived as most interesting, new, or important material in each issue. The Editage calendar was synced with the journal's own production calendar. Five months, ten issues down the line, questions around the workflow, what questions? So does video mean reinventing the workflow? Not if you ask Editage. The marketing department of Brill, a top global publisher of scholarly journals and books known for its innovative publishing programs, wanted to see if video content could help promote a flagship journal. They decided to run a pilot campaign where they hosted an edited produced video summary of a recently published article alongside a call for papers by the journal. The resulting significant audience interest and excellent conversion rate left Brill surprised in wanting more, and led them to commission a series of enriched content outputs to promote key products across the portfolio. There it is then. Videos can give great return on investment for publishers and societies. Found these impact stories interesting? Visit editage.com slash research communication to learn more or give us a holler at research communication at editage.com and we'd be delighted to talk to you.